Hello, Jacob, and the rest of the fifth graders. Um, chapter, e I guess, lesson 111 is down on page 732, and we have a new concept. It says uh, we will multiply decimal numbers by 10, 100, and 1,000. We'll learn a little bit about manip manipulating the decimal point based on the numbers we multiply it by. New concept on page 732. Each place in our decimal number system is assigned a particular value. We know that. Tenths place, hundredths place, thousandths place. The value of each place is ten times greater each time we move one place to the left. Okay? So, okay, so the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place, every time you move from, um, from a place value to the place value on the left, you basically multiply that number by ten. The digits all shift one place to the left. For example, when we multiply 34 by 10, all of the digits move one place value to the left. Okay, if we multiplied it by 10, our, our number would be 340. Basically, the 4, which was in the 1's place, becomes the 10's place. The 3, which was in the 10's place, now becomes the 100's place. They shift one unit or one place value to the left. Okay? The same applies for numbers that are in decimal places. If you have the number 34 hundredths and you multiply it by 10, the digits just shift one unit to the left. So it becomes 3 and 4 tenths instead of, three, instead of 34 hundredths. We see that the digit 3 moved to the other side of the decimal point when it shifted one place to the left. The decimal point holds steady while the digits move. Although it is the digits that change places when the number is multiplied by 10, we can produce the same result by moving the decimal point in the opposite direction. Okay? So if we have 34 hundredths, we can multiply that number by 10. Okay? We'll get 0, 4, 3. And we can understand that we have two decimal places, 1, 2, and we can move our our, our place that way, or we can move our decimal that way and we get three and four tenths. Um, another option, if we have the number 34 hundredths, another option when multiplying by 10, you just take your decimal point and move it one spot to the right. Okay? If you multiply by 10, you move it one spot to the right. If you multiply by 100, you move it two spots to the right. If you multiply it by 1,000, three spots. Okay? The number of decimal I guess the number of places the decimal moves is based on the number of zeros that, I guess the number of zeros that you're multiplying it by. If we have 10, okay, you're moving it one decimal place. If you have 100, you move the decimal place twice. If you have 1,000, you move that decimal point one, two, three spaces. Okay, now let's try a few practice problems. Example. Number one. Example number one, it says multiply one and two hundred thirty-four thousandths by one hundred. Okay? Multiply one and two hundred thirty-four thousandths by one hundred. Now, when I see the number one hundred, I understand that I can set this up vertically and I can multiply it like this. And I can hang my zeros off. And I can drop them down and multiply 4, 3, 2, and 1. I have 1, 2, 3 decimal places. 1, 2, 3 places here. Okay? Drop off these zeros now. And I have my answer of 123 and, and 4 tenths. Okay? But I know that... I know that when I have a number and I'm multiplying it by 100, I can also take and move my decimal places, or my decimal two places to the right. Okay? I have two zeros here, 100. I move my decimal place two digits to the right. My answer ends up being 123 and 4 tenths, for example one. Example two, I'm going to do a couple practice problems. Um, first, I have 1 and 234 thousandths times one thousand. Okay? I count my zeros here. One, two, three. 
I move my decimal place one, two, three points to the right. My answer is 1,234. My decimal point would be here, but again, we can drop that because it's, it's a whole number, and we assume that the decimal point is there. So write this down for example two. Okay, example three. We'll do practice problem D. We have zero and 345 thousandths, and we're multiplying it by 10. Okay? When you multiply by a number like 10, you move it one digit to the right. Okay? So now my number is, it looks like this. Okay? It's 3 and 45 hundredths. We know that this zero is unnecessary, so we'd probably want to drop. Okay? My answer is 3 and 45 hundredths. For example, 3. Um, let's do one more. Example 4, let's go with practice problem G. I have 5 and 67 hundredths, and let's multiply it by, let's do I, let's multiply it by 100. Okay, the number 100, two zeros, tells me to move my decimal point two places to the right. My answer is now 567. Okay, and we're writing that down for example 4. Okay, for the lesson today, um, we learned... We learned how to multiply decimal numbers by 10, 100, and 1,000. You can do it the long way. You can multiply 3,400 3, by 10, and then count your place values, and then move your decimal point over. But again, it, it's much faster to basically take that decimal point and shift it units to the right, depending on, on if you're multiplying it by 10. That would be one, one place value, 100 is two place values, and then 1,000, you're moving it three place values to the right. Okay, have a great night. I hope to see you on Monday after a very refreshing weekend. See you later.